Today, one of our contestants could win a Scotty Cameron putter, or a pair of FootJoy shoes, or maybe even a beautiful Buick Encore GX. Believe me, you won't want to miss the excitement next on Winning Golf. everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins and today we come to you from the spectacular Old York Road Country Club and joining me as our host today from Thermo Solutions is my very very good friend Jerry McCaffrey and Jerry it is wonderful to see you again. Yep. Applause yeah. is fine. Jerry it's wonderful to see you again. Last season we built a great memory together and today with this talented group I'm ready to build another one. Thank you Doug. Uh, Thermo Solutions is looking forward to being with you again this year. Well, and we do have a, a wonderful group with us today. Well, thank you, Jerry. Hey guys, I have one simple question for you. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Here we go. Woo. Awesome. Well, our first skills challenge is a two-man team putting contest. And Brian Urban and John Trebs have been asked to participate. Fellas, here's your challenge. We have a 40-foot putt. The goal is to get down in two. Now, here's where the teamwork comes in. One of you will putt first from 40 feet. The other player will try to close the deal. If you can get down in two, then both of you will win a prize. And what a prize it is. How about a gift certificate to one of Winnie Golf's very special partners, P.J. Wellahan. Sound awesome, guys? Yeah. All right, man. Let's get ready to putt. All right. Well, after some deep discussion, the official order has been set. John Trebs will lead off and hopefully leave his partner with a tap-in. Good setup and a good stroke. Speed looks pretty good, and that's where he wants to be, right below the cup. Okay, Brian Urban has about two feet to seal the deal. Let's see if he can roll it in. And he does it. John and Brian are heading to P.J. Willihans. Well, John and Brian, congratulations. That was some great teamwork. And now both of you will get to enjoy a fun evening at P.J. Willihans. I hope you had a great time. Absolutely. Thanks so Appreciate much, Doug. Thanks for the You're welcome. Well done. Well, as you can see, this Thermal Solutions team is ready to play some winning golf. And the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, one of the top private golf clubs in Montgomery County, the stunning Old York Road Country Club. Old York Road Country Club, an historic private club located in Ambler, Pennsylvania, first opened its doors as a nine-hole facility in 1910. The 3,000-yard course, designed by Jimmy Lang, was constructed on 67 acres and rented from Abington Friends Meeting for $1,500 per year. And speaking of historic, the initiation fee and annual dues in 1910 were each $25. In 1912, additional land was leased, and by 1913, an 18-hole layout was complete. In 1962, Old York Road Country Club faced its most daunting challenge ever. As the trustee of Abington Friends Meeting, in order to support its expanding school, requested that Old York Road Country Club relocate. After a detailed search, the committee purchased the 126-acre Bennerbrook Farm. The new and gorgeous 18-hole track was designed by the famous Gordon Brothers and opened its doors on July 4, 1963. The pristine layout measures 6,600 yards from the tips and demands precise approach shots as well as a solid putting aim to battle the fast and undulating greens. The top-notch golf operation offers many first-class amenities including a professional PJ golf staff, a well-stocked pro shop, private instruction for men and women, a dynamic tournament program, a popular junior program, and state-of-the-art practice facilities. The practice facilities include a spectacular driving range featuring a 27,000 square foot grass teeing area and five target greens. A short game center includes both fairway and greenside bunkers, plus a 3,700 square foot putting green always in mint condition. Well, as far as our practice facility, we've got a huge uh, grass tee that's open every day of the week. You know, we've got mats for when it is a little bit wet, but it's a gigantic. Uh, our superintendent reseeded it with Bermuda this year. It's wonderful. So we're open on grass. The grass grows back really quickly. You get to hit off of grass every single day that you're here, which is really nice. A lot of clubs don't offer that. In addition, 
Old York Road offers an on-site hitting bay equipped with a TrackMan golf simulator to help the members improve their swings all year round. Finally, to top it off, members of Old York Road Country Club through reciprocity agreements can also enjoy golf and amenities at both Indian Valley Country Club and Great Bay Country Club, two elite golf clubs in the region. Of course, this exquisite private golf club offers much more than just a memorable golfing experience. Families can enjoy delicious food and fun events around the beautiful swimming pool throughout the summer. The spectacular York Terrace seats up to 200 guests and offers great views of the gorgeous gardens and golf course. Another popular venue is the Manor Pub, which seats up to 100 people and includes beautiful wood high top tables and large screen TVs. Yeah, Old York Road is, is, a, is a great destination for outside events. Um, our food and beverage and our general manager, Jason Equi, they do a fantastic job um, creating that, that great member experience and that customer experience. Uh, the food is awesome. The patio is, is uh, just a great setting. You know, the golfers coming in on 18, you know, you view them while you're eating and enjoying some beverages, and it's just, it's a great place to spend time. And for me, this is a second home. You know, I love the time I spend here. Old York Road, although a private club, warmly welcomes the public for wedding receptions, golf outings, rehearsal dinners, corporate meetings, and any other special celebrations. For over a century, Old York Road Country Club has offered a welcoming membership, exceptional golf, destination dining, and family fun. To learn more about membership opportunities or to schedule your special event, please call 215-643-0180 or check out the web at oyrcc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Pat Potichin, Mark Culp, Jerry McCaffrey, Mark Conway, John Wargo, Jim Urban, Glenn Kelly, John Treads, Brian Urban, Marty Jeffers, Mike Bellotta, Jerry Foley. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. Foot Joy, the mark of a player. Fellas, today's foot joy contest will come to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to show you a drill that I promise will help your putting game. Part two, Mike Bellot is going to put my putting tip in action. And part three is the foot joy contest where all of you will get to try this putt and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. Guys, you ready for this? How about a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf. Is that awesome? Yeah, yeah. What a prize. What a prize. For our party lesson today, guys, I want to discuss the importance of keeping your eyes down through impact when you're putting. The temptation to peek to see where your ball is going is very common, and it causes two major problems. Number one, when you are addressing that golf ball and you peek, in most cases, your putter face will stay open, and that ball will spin off to the right and often come up short. The second problem is when you address your golf ball and you peak, it's very hard to consistently hit that sweet spot. If you miss a sweet spot in your putter, that directly affects not only your direction, but also your distance. So my drill for you today is called the quarter drill, and it keeps your eyes down through impact. The result is solid contact and a much better roll. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Awesome. So to put this tip in action, I would love for Mike Bellotta to come up. Michael? Great to see you. Thanks for helping out. So I'm going to put this golf ball on a quarter for you. Okay. okay. All right, Mike, first I want you to address the ball with your putter face. So you get your line. Look at your line a couple of times. All right. Your feet and body look parallel to that line. That's very good. Now your goal is to look at the ball. Then I want you to look at that quarter for two seconds before you follow the ball. Sound great? Sounds great. All right, let's see what happens. Well, look at this putt, everybody. You could hear the contact. A very solid roll. Well done, buddy. Great job. Hey, guys, are you ready to try to win a pair of foot joy shoes? Let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to doug at rdhgolf.com. 
Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our foot joy contest is a 25 foot downhill putt with the goal of keeping your eyes down through impact. Jim Urban sets the stage. Oh, right over the lip of the cup. Mike Balata puts his ball to two feet. A great stroke, rolling from left to right. It's got a chance, Mike Balata right over the lip of the cup. Marty Jeffers rolls his ball a couple of inches better. Look, this one's got a chance, coming back towards the hole. Look at that touch by Marty. Brian Urban slides his ball just inside of that. Speed looks great. This is coming back towards the hole. We'll get there, that's a question. What a great effort. But Mark Colt needs a new pair of shoes. The speed looks very good. That should be pin high coming at the end. Look at that touch by Mark Colt. At one foot, five inches, he takes the prize. Mark, congratulations. You kept your eyes down, hit a very solid putt. So now you'll be taking home a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. But my question for you right now is this, Mark. How would you like to add an amazing putter to those new foot joy shoes? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. And I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. Winning golf, everybody wins. At Foot Joy, we know a little something about the ground. It's unpredictable. Up, down, slippery, sticky, firm, squishy. There is no telling how it will act. But with a little extra traction and stable footing, one needn't give a thought to the ground's fickle mood. We know what it takes for stability, traction, and comfort. For the love of golf. Uh-oh. What? I think I forgot to lock my Buick. Parallel parking. That hot yoga was so hot. Check this out. Cooling seats? Alexa, ask Buick to start my SUV. You can do that. You can do that? You can't do that. You can with a Buick. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Get great offers across the full Buick lineup, including these purchase allowance offers on most 2020 Buick luxury SUV models. Prizes and tea gifts for the winning golf skills challenge provided by Bag Boy Travel Covers. Bag Boy, the details make the difference. Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design ahead and pj wheelahan's pub and restaurant visit one of our restaurants for indoor or outdoor dining and takeout pj wheelahan's doug hendrick's wardrobe provided by the greg norman collection greg norman performance by design Everybody wins. welcome back to winning golf it's time now for our scotty cameron challenge Scotty Cameron putters, the choice of champions. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, fellas, in our next thrilling event, one of you could win a Scotty Cameron putter. How does that sound? Yeah. Pretty yeah. awesome. Yeah. What a great prize. Here's the deal. Our terrific host, Jerry McCaffrey, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will have two chances from 10 feet to roll in a putt. If successful, I'll hand that player a Scotty Cameron putter. So needless to say, this is going to be very exciting. And speaking of exciting, Jerry, who is our lucky contestant today here at the beautiful Old York Road Country Club? Oh, we are just anticipating who it is. Who, who do we have, Jerry? John Wargo. John hey, Wargo. Hey, hey. Right, Where's John? John, John, come on up here, my friend. All right, so here's the challenge, John. Two chances from 10 feet. You roll one in. I hand you the putter. You up for the challenge? I'm up for the challenge. Awesome. Let's get ready to putt. Okay, John Wargo has two chances to roll in a 10-foot putt. If he can do it, John will add a Scotty Cameron putter to his bag, just like I did this season. Here's the putt. It's got a chance. Oh, just over the lip. What a great effort by John. He's got one more chance. Well, John certainly knows the speed and the line. Let's see if he can take home a Scotty Cameron putter. Set up, and here's the stroke. John Wargo is in the cup. John takes home a Scotty Cameron putter. Unbelievable. Well, John Wargo, that was an awesome putt under a lot of pressure. A gallery around you, the camera rolling, an amazing prize on the line, and you rolled in that 10-footer. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Thank you. Looking forward to using that Scotty Cameron. Well, thank you, John. All right. Well, thanks to Scotty Cameron Golf, we just gave away an amazing prize. And the great news is this. We still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway.
Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important Survivor Round. Our top two winners in the Survivor Round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 20-yard uphill pitch shot from the fairway. John Trevs has a nice touch. I'm just can't go in. Oh my goodness, what an effort by John Trev. Jerry McCaffrey's ball gets uphill. Should look at this shot by our host, Jerry McCaffrey. Mike Bellotta's ball finds its way to about four feet. That is pin high. Well done, buddy. Marty Jeffers raises the bar with this effort to a foot and a half. That's coming towards the cup. Pin high, a beauty. Check out Jerry Foley's pitch to a foot from the pin. Let's look at a shot, Jerry Foley. Wow, what a wedge. But Mark Conway slips inside of Foley with this gem to 11 inches to take the round. Let's look at a shot by Mark, it's got a chance. Mark Conway. Up next is a 60 foot uphill chip shot from the heavy rough. Pat Potichen steps up his game. That is winning golf, well done, Pat. Marty Jeffers shows off his short game skills. And that is just about pin high and a beautiful touch by Marty Jeffers. John Wargo chips it with style to less than three feet. Look at his shot by John. That is winning golf by John Wargo. John Trevs is up for the challenge. This is rolling right towards the cup. And look at that touch by John. Winning golf, John. Brian Urban is a couple of inches closer with a sand wedge. Look at this touch by Brian. Soft hands by Brian Urban. But Jerry Foley edges him by an inch to take the round. So look at this touch by Jerry. That is sensational effort by Jerry Foley. Round three is a 15 yard uphill pitch shot that Jim Urban handles well. Jim Urban going up the hill. You make that putt. Jerry McCaffrey sets the mark at four and a half feet. And that is winning golf by our host, Jerry McCaffrey. Glenn Kelly has a nice effort. She should come down a little bit right to left, and here it comes. That is pin high, and that's a beautiful touch by Glenn Kelly. Brian Urban pitches it an inch closer. A nice soft stroke, and that's a great touch by Brian Urban. Right. Well done. Mark Conway is the first to four feet. Mark Conway, the lob wedge, and oh, just past the cup. What a nice touch by Mark Conway. But John Wargo hits a winning golf shot to steal the round. He is playing winning golf today. John Wargo. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. Brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor presently celebrating 15 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. On the tee today, I would like to share a drill with you that I promise will help your greenside bunker game. It's called the line drill. And I simply draw a line in the sand, and then I make practice swings trying to hit that line. Remember, for a greenside bunker shot, the ball is not in play. The line about two inches behind the ball is in play. So here's the drill. I simply draw a line in the sand with my club head. Then I go to the end of the line and put my golf ball about two inches in front of the line. Now I'm ready for my practice swings. I set up over that line. I put my club head over the line. My eyes are on that line, and I'm going to try to turn over the line. Last thing I want to do is move off of that line. We want to stay over it. So let's see what happens. Hey, okay, right here, pick the club up, and hey, okay, right in front of the line a little bit, but we'll take that one. A little behind the line, that's okay too. And that's pretty good too. Now the ball's in play, it's time to hit the shot, but remember, I'm still looking at the line, not the golf ball. Let's see what happens. Well, now you know why I like the line drill. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one, -on -one, up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this tough 20-yard downhill pitch from the rough. Jerry Foley with a nice setup, 20 yards down the hill, coming back towards the cup, and that's just below the hole. 
It's a nice touch by Jerry Foley. Well done, Jerry. Nice job. Pat Potichin has played well all day. 20 yards down the hill with a 56 degree wedge. Well done. John Wargo pitches it to seven feet, eight inches. John Wargo with a 60 degree wedge. And look at this touch by John. Down towards the cup, and that's a really, really nice touch by John Wargo. Mark Conway makes a run at the final with this effort to seven feet. And this should come back towards the cup at the end, and here it comes. And that's a beautiful touch by Thanks, Mark sir. Conway. But check out the shots by our two finalists, Glenn Kelly, Rolling from right to left down towards the cup. And look at this effort by Glenn yeah. Kelly, winning golf. And Mark Culp. Mark Culp bringing it high. This is going right at it. This could be very close. Mark Culp's got a chance. It's in the hole. Mark Culp drains it from 20 yards down the hill. That is winning golf. He holds it to take the round. My goodness gracious. Wow. That's winning golf. That means Culp will face Glenn Kelly in our up and in playoff to determine this week's champion when winning golf comes right back. We asked the pros if we should change the Pro SL, the number one shoe in golf. Never. No, don't. But you never settle and neither do we. So we made the best shoe in the game even better. We added more comfort, traction, and performance. For every slope, lump, and bump, this game throws at your feet. And we made another option with Carbon for off-the-chart stability and control. So why'd we change the Pro SL? Simple, for the love of golf. Titleist T200, inspired by a tour look and feel. Powered by Max Impact. A striking innovation that spreads speed and control evenly across the forged base. Coupled with a modern shape for exceptional performance with a player's feel. Titleist T200, designed to help you score lower. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Signs by the Sea the best custom handmade golf accessories and gifts. Signs by the Sea. Vokey SM8 Wedges. Know your letter, hit your number. Vokey SM8 Wedges. And by Devant, the number one custom golf towel in the business. Devant. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. It's now time for the winning golf up and in playoff. We are on the 12th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A beautiful championship trophy and the chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous Buick Encore GX. Now the rules for the winning golf up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the winning golf up and in playoff will be a 75 foot chip shot from the fairway. Mark Culp will have the honors. Mark carries a 22 handicap and plays most of his golf at Five Ponds Golf Club. It's kind of like a putt here, up the slope and then down the slope. Here it comes. And boy, this could be pretty good. It's a very challenging shot and that's gonna be just past the cup, but it gives him a very nice putt from there. And now it's Glenn Kelly's turn to try and battle this very challenging 12th green here at Old York Road. Glenn owns a 20 handicap and enjoys his golf at Northampton Country Club. And Glenn Foley has chosen a 60 degree wedge, so he's trying something different. He's gonna bring it in high and soft rather than bump and run, and here it comes. Will he get to the crest? He does, it's coming down the hill. And that's a pretty darn good shot by Glenn Foley, and we've got a putting contest. Well, Glenn Kelly has about 16 feet down the hill. Just have to bump this one to get it going, and here it comes. Glenn Kelly, and boy, that ball's moving. Look at that putt. And he's gonna have a little tester coming back. Well, Mark Culp is in the driver's seat. He has 14 feet. If he can roll this in, he will be the winning golf champion here at Old York Road Country Club. Beautiful setup, beautiful putt. He's got a chance. Mark Culp, he drains it. He is our champion here at Old York Road Country Club. What a pressure putt. There's still more to come. Mark Colt will putt for a new Buick Encore GX. Winning golf will be right back. Winning golf. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. You'll 
never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. What? I think I forgot to lock my Buick. Parallel parking. That hot yoga was so hot. Check this out. Cooling seats? Alexa, ask Buick to start my SUV. You can do that. You can do that? You can't do that. You can with a Buick. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Get great offers across the full Buick lineup, including these purchase allowance offers on most 2020 Buick luxury SUV models. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new Buick Encore GX at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Putt. Each week, our Winning Golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous Buick Encore GX. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We are on the pristine putting green here at Old York Road Country Club. Today's winning golf champion, Mark Culp, is only 60 feet away from the cup if he could roll in this putt. Mark will win the keys in a two-year lease to a spectacular Buick Encore GX. Well, this would be the perfect way to end a perfect day at Old York Road Country Club. The greens are in mint condition. So let's see if Mark Culp can provide us with a miracle. And here it comes from 60 feet. Boy, the line looks good. The speed looks good. Oh my goodness, this one's got a chance. What a great effort by our champion, Mark Colt. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the beautiful Old York Road Country Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Old York Road staff and membership for their warm welcome and over the top hospitality. Also, a very special thanks to my wonderful host, Jerry McCaffrey, and his Thermal Solutions team for providing us with a safe day full of fun, excitement, and plenty of winning golf highlights. Well, for me, it's time for a practice session with my new Scotty Cameron putter. And luckily, I didn't forget my quarter. Hey, thanks to all of you for watching Winning Golf, the show where, as you know, everybody wins. I'll see you all next week. Sticking one by the pin, I'm busting out a grin.